on the path to net zero, individuals and organisations around the world are recognising the urgency of limiting and then offsetting any remaining greenhouse gas emissions. VERA's Verified Carbon Standard Programme is the leading standard for land-based projects, ensuring their credibility and integrity. Here's more from Washington, D.C. Forests, often referred to as the lungs of the planet, are a vital tool to keep global warming in check. They can provide up to one third of emissions reductions needed by 2030. If we don't do anything drastic, we're going to lose a lot of precious forests. And it's now absolutely critical because that not only are we going to lose the value of that forest intrinsically, but we're going to end up with all of those emissions in the atmosphere. And restoring those forests is practically impossible. Forest carbon projects make a difference by putting a value on protecting forests. By doing so, they offer a viable alternative to the old economic paradigm that the most lucrative way to manage a forest is to chop it down. The problem is, there is an obvious and instant monetary value that comes from cutting down forests. Vera is working instead to try and change people's mindsets, to show them the long-term value that comes from protecting and preserving those forests. With carbon credits, that whole calculus, the economic calculus, gets switched around because all of a sudden you look at the forest and you think, oh, if I protect it, I can generate revenues that I can then do the things that I would have done otherwise and might even do better, right? So what we see with projects um, is that they're investing in education, in local health. They're employing a lot of people, for example, to do uh, to, for forest rangers. Guatemalan Conservation Coast Project is one such project, where carbon credits are currently protecting 55,000 hectares of forest. The local community has benefited from resources that allow us to implement project activities. We have um, a program to improve access to health, and this is uh, very important as many com communities are really isolated. So we work with local midwives and provide access uh, to, to sexual and reproductive health and to general health for women and for all the community. We also have a scholarship program for girls so they can finish their elementary school. The project uses VERA's Verified Carbon Standard, the world's leading voluntary greenhouse gas program. It channels finance to activities that reduce deforestation through the generation of certified carbon credits. The VCS standard is incredibly robust and it is always evolving. We're always trying to make updates to keep up with the latest science. We do public consultations on every update, every significant change to the, to the VCS standard is um, consulted on publicly and, and led by experts. Red Plus projects are one type of project eligible under the VCS's rigorous certification process. Red stands for reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, and the plus stands for sustainable management of forests and conservation and enhancement of forest carbon stocks. You have to project two different scenarios for a Red Plus project, one of which is the, the baseline scenario, the one with, in the absence of the project. You look at the historical uh, data on deforestation in that project area, and then you um, project that forward. And the, the project case scenario is the one where the project activities are happening. And so the delta between those, the difference between those is the um, is the, are the GHG credits that we award, the carbon credits that we would award. I would say it is complicated because you need to, to understand and to put together all this information. But at the same time, it guarantees that it will be a robust project and a transparent project that it's giving the correct information to, to the people involved and um, to all the stakeholders. Globally, VERA has registered 92 Red Plus projects that have reduced more than 335 million tonnes of carbon from the atmosphere, delivering finance to sustain forests and empower the communities who live in them.